and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our Extreme Production Series. And uh, yeah, we are doing gangbusters right now. Got all of this built. I actually used a little bit of blue belt to help speed that up a little bit. And so far, so good. And these are, again, mining slower because this ore is actually tougher to mine than, say, quartz or tin. So the mining hardness 0.8 over here and 2.6 here that makes that makes a big difference although when we start when we start being able to build better and better uh, mining drills uh, yeah two mark fives will pretty much fill up a purple belt so I'm not too worried about that right now if we want to continue our progress on modules and uh, yeah we we're actually making modules now. Uh, which is nice because we've I've slowly been increasing the amount that we that we're producing um, just to try to top off all of our little tanks here and there of backlog. But uh, the next big push, we're going to need gems in order to get to the next levels of uh, uh, of modules. And so we're going to need some materials in order to do that. So first things first, we're going to start. We need some light oil. And uh, I'm just going to create a little system here, build this up. I did increase the tank backlog, so we're up to 20,000 now. Because I want a maximum amount in here for our polishing compound. Uh, okay, so I'm going to want chests for, we need that aluminum. Remember that aluminum that I had set up up there? We're going to need that. And I'm going to want a lot of this polishing compound. And it's a two second craft, and that's why I wanted a ton of light oil. And I'm out of, I'm really out of inserters. That's pretty crazy. Uh, so let's get all of these going. And let's see, we need uh, the alumina. So let's uh, request that. And we're gonna request like 200. And that should push our logistics bots because we're going to request 200 on all of these. So as you can see, we are now pushing more bots into the system as, uh, as the requests come through. Uh, okay, so we're going to want power here. If we need to expand this, I can put some power here. Okay, so we should start getting some delivered. All right, so polishing compound. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of this polishing compound. Uh, so likewise, uh, we're gonna need, uh, where is it at? We started making the polishing wheels somewhere. I know we did. Because it's wood and steel, basically. So I forgot where it was. There it is, right here. So there is the polishing wheel. The one thing that we don't have right now is the grinding wheel because that needs silicon carbide. So if we're gonna want silicon carbide, we're gonna need the powered silicon, and then we're gonna need the, to craft the silicon carbide from that and carbon. So we need the silicon plates. Silicon plates also carbon so yeah it's a lot of carbon for this process and uh, while we're doing this we're gonna leave the polishing compound to max itself out it should it should uh, craft pretty fast and any excess light oil will get cracked down no problem and we are up to 7.8 thousand wonderful uranium 235s uh, I am not sad about that at all that's a beautiful thing so 
If we come up here and look, uh, this is the quartz ore that we're going to need to process for all the silicon stuff. So I'm going to get rid of that, and then we're going to build that out, see maybe one less. One less there. And now I need that signal back wherever it went. Okay, so I need a signal on this side and this side to here. So that takes care of quartz. And now let's look at sending this stuff down. I just want to finish all these off. Might as well. And then we can throw in these already. And then take this same spot. Ooh, right. Make it right into that. That's nice. I'm going to dial that back one, though, anyway. Just to make sure. There we go. That'll take care of those nicely. And so now we're going to want to come up here. This is quartz processing. Uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need an extension of our system here. Because we're gonna need some space up in here. Let's uh watch for biters. I don't think we're in any super danger of biters, but just in case. Uh, I also want to Take out all of these, and let's give ourselves a little bit more space up in here. I would like to get the next level of RoboPorts going, because that would really help. That would really help uh, expand my construction abilities here. I actually might need a storage warehouse, just because... We're, we're chopping down a lot of trees, and uh, our storages might might fill up. Although I've, got, I've actually got quite a few storages over here. But I might as well, might as well just place it. It's because I've got it. Uh, ooh, it's, it'll sneak right in. Right in there. And I'm going to put some wood in it just to, just to prime it. There we go. And with our nuclear robots, we're actually able to do a pretty good job cutting cutting into the system here. Uh, let's try to get that merged right in. Try to maximize the coverage of the construction area, not just RoboPort range, uh, the the orange, but the construction area for clearing trees. That's Kind of important in this in this case so this is quartz processing okay so let's come up here and we're going to hop on board and let's set quartz mine inventory full uh, quartz processing inventory empty So here we go, riding the rails. Oh, interesting that it uh, saw a little stretch. When it turned, it like stretched a little bit. That was interesting. Cruising all the way up. We're gonna have to go past it. 
I could add a secondary system in into that, but I mean it's not too vital that we make it perfect. Okay, so here we are. We are on quartz processing. I thought I saw something happen over here. Oh, that was that was those I think ended up not needing the lithia lithia water spots uh, this was more titanium I think uh, titanium processing two so quartz to get silicon plate we're gonna need carbon up here and the calcium chloride. I don't know if we've got a whole lot of calcium chloride in a system. Uh, let's look at our logistics system. Um, I don't see any calcium chloride at all in here. So I'm thinking calcium chloride, we need uh, stone for that. And uh, we have this huge stone. So I think way down in here, we're going to need to go a little crazy with our calcium chloride manufacturing. Okay, so we have we have coal, we have carbon right over here. I'd be able to split this carbon off and bring up a branch up here. No problem. So what do we need? Uh, we need electrolyzers for this process. Um, and these take stone pipe wow I really would like if these were are these in the logistics system e no electrolyzers are not not in the logistics system unfortunately so if we wanted, what's the craft time on these? Seven seconds. Yeah, we're gonna want a big setup for these. Uh, we're also gonna want some glass, and that is just straight up smelting uh, glass. That is just straight up smelting in a regular furnace of the quartz here. So I'm, I'm gonna have an electrolyzer system for the silicon plate that's going to need to be expandable so we're going to we're going to give ourselves a little space uh two three four five six seven eight nine ten so if these are going to be silicon plate that's quite a few ingredients so two quartz one carbon and a calcium chloride and I know we're going to need calcium chloride for other things. You know, what I should do is I should create a stone depot up here and make calcium chloride locally. Because uh, I can make a crap ton of calcium chloride with stone. And I'm going to need it as well, I think, for titanium. Yeah, calcium chloride is going to be used for titanium as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I might look at doing that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so just for the sake of brevity here, we're going to have a line coming in for quartz, and then we're going to have a shared line for carbon and the calcium chloride. So the quartz line, I'm going to have actually, where am I, where's my carbon going to come in? We're going to need, we're going to need to amp up our carbon production as well, I think. I think it's safe to assume that we're going to be using quite a lot of that in this process. Uh, and then we're going to need output.
And then up here we'll have glass. Uh, I want to put glass up here. And we don't need a super huge ton of this. So I'm thinking... I, I don't want steel furnaces. I want regular, regular furnaces. If I do like 40, 40 of these... So if I pull a uh, full 50 out, and uh, let's do, that's 10, that's another 10, uh, just trying to get this stuff squared away here. Because we need to clear out some more trees. Please. Okay, so bring all these up. I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to be running out of... I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to run out of belt here. So I'm going I'm to grab a bunch. Okay, so... Oh yeah, there, there are bots. There we go. Goodbye, wood. Okay, so all the way up. And then I'm actually going to carve this out. And then we're going to bring down the glass because I want it closer. It's going to be logistics based because we don't use it in very many places. It doesn't need to be doesn't need to be uh, too crazy of a system. So I'm going to have a, you know what, I might just go with a, a beast here. Oh, I actually need, I actually need some wood. Interesting. Well, I can take care of that little problem. There. So yeah, it'll, it'll use a lot of silicon initially. Um, so maybe I'll put this over on this side of the logistics system, just to free up, free up this space for more electrolyzers and such. And then load all of those. <coughs> okay, now it's just a matter of getting getting the inserters ready to go. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to place all of these. And rather than place the rest of them, I'm going to take a kind of a dummy and I'm going to sort of a, a use all and then I'm going to use these for everything else. So here, here, and here. There. That'll save me quite a lot of time. And let's see here. Just trying to be as clean with and efficient with this build as I can. Okay, so the bots are hard at work. Let's get let's get those uh, things built up here, people. Okay, so let's get these going. Okay, so glass is incoming, and I don't know if we need, you know, fifty bazillion of it. So let's limit this to like I don't know down there. And that's a, yeah, that's a lot of glass, but 
you know, it is what it is. Once it's full, it's full. We don't have to worry about it anymore. And now I need to think about calcium chloride. I need to get some stuff crafted. Um, like a lot of stuff crafted for calcium chloride. We're talking electrolyzers, chemical furnaces, the whole works. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little time. I'd really like the next level of electrolyzers. What does that take? Uh, electrolyzer 2. Well, that, that could be done. We're making glass now, so I'm going to research it. What's the craft time on that? 1.5. That's doable. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.